to do its work, to consider proposals from the government to pass laws that fast track such cases. We all know that election petition cases take six months. Why can't corruption cases similarly take such a period? That is the debate that must go to the National Assembly. Mr. Kashagwa serves in the National Assembly. I have not heard him talk about corruption except when defending his own position in the case he's involved in. In contrast, I'm out of parliament. I've been vocal, whether it's Kemsa, whether it's any other corruption. And I've also been vocal in upholding the rule of law and reminded my brother, President Kenyatta, that he cannot serve beyond his term, a position he holds at this moment that he is going home. So, Honorable Karua, do you agree then that there's state capture in Kenya? And, and secondly, what do you make of their proposal to form a commission of inquiry into the same in Kenya if elected? That just expresses, ex expresses their reluctance to fight corruption. In fact, Mr. Kashagwa's principle is captured on tape in an interview in this country saying that corruption, he doesn't think corruption can stop a, a nation from developing. With what money will a nation develop, invest, or even provide services if the corruption cartels are taking 2 billion shillings a day? which translates to stealing 40 shillings from every person. In an average household of six people, that's 240 shillings, two packets of unga at the discounted price of 100. Kenyans need to understand. They're hungry, they're without medical service, without fees for their children and without free education because corruption cartels are strangling the nation. That's why we can't breathe. Once we understand that, then we will vote for people with a track record, like Azimio, people with the will to fight corruption, people who are prepared to confront the monster yep. and to apply the law evenly, irrespective of who is mentioned. So do you believe we have state capture in Kenya? There is state capture, yes, by corruption cartels, organized criminal gangs who plunder our resources daily. Two billion shillings a day, which is authenticated by the Auditor General, translates to 600, 765 billion shillings. The amount of money we need for the social support is just 144 billion. The rest can be used to pay debt, to do other things. We intend to seal all those loopholes so that Kenyans can have advantage of their resources. Honorable Karua, the names of every corruption scandal, Kimura, Kamsa, yeah. uh, Eurobond, 